Hello everyone, Smory Gana Who here and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play The Simpsons World Rage. In last episode we played as Mars Simpson and his Kenny Narrow in the Springfield Dam. Um, we played as Grandpa Simpson. Oh no, no we haven't. I mean I meant we played as Lisa Simpson and his like Electorus in uh And Grandpa Simpson is blind as usual, he in uh, mistaken uh Fire hydrant as the How dare you cut the roadways with that piece as um person. I don't know how long I had to think about that. The content is awful. I'm sorry, but anyway, today we should be going downtown, which is the most visually pleasing place that we say. It's got lots of locations here, and they can go to. It's very diverse and spread out, I admit. Very big. Right, like the kidney stone loose. Thank you. But Springfield mission, please. Time to unlock okay. the Um So yes, yeah, it's the most visually pleasing, you can has the most interesting places you can go to. And all that stuff. Now Grandpa Simpson's car, the shimmer car, is personally the best car that you can drive. In this field game overall, the only thing that comes close to this car is Professor Fink's hover car, which does have probably equally good control. I mean, this thing controls like a dream, and it's and I think and it's the fastest car in the game. And also, how fast Professor Fink's hover car is, which is the last car we want to lock. But personally, I think this is just a little bit faster. This thing is just awesome. Yes, it may be, may be playing as Grandpa Simpson's old car, but trust me, this car is bleed, ble bleeding awesome. The only car that can come, you know, the only two cars that can close to it is Lisa's Electors, which I also comment about. Personally, I think this control is just a tad better than Lisa's Electors, personally. And Professor Fink's Hover Car, which does that, which I think has equally good control, but I think this one's just a tad faster. But I don't know, this um, Professor Fink Hover Car is sort of ties. But anyways, now that I praise about Grandpa Simpson, it's time to grind some money. Plus, those Simpsons balloons are blooming creepy. Two, why are they there in the first place? It's a bit creepy that Simpsons had their own balloon of five versions up there. I guess that's just that popular, I guess. Anyways, hope we go. Yep. Apparently people do count as objects. That sounded really horrible. I'm sorry. But yeah, I got a word from this. Now you go to City Hall. And boom! The City Hall is there! I can't believe I need a Cadiquus reference. You know, you know how Cadiquus and I'm very, very sorry. But anyway, seeing this plug aside, um, yeah, it's downtown where May's City Hall is. Yeah, and all that right stuff. Out. There's the worry, the statue of Springfield. I don't know what it's called. Ship or something. The There's the baseball arena. Whoa, and he's where awesome, no most bars in the entertainment district. Hi, Sorry. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hoping get another world trade bonus here. And plus, I think this area is where it has the most Mr. Burns bus stops here. I see I got extra 4 seconds there, so yeah. Should I get more... Bye. Plus more time? Oh, oh, well, Do you want to get most amount of time Bye. in the oh, one? No then downtown is a place for you. Firstly, this is my... um. Actually, this is my second least favorite, honestly. But this isn't bad by all means. Plus, there's this escalator thing, which I'll wire up. I'll try knocking to the side, of course. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love doing that. But unfortunately, it's not a good, good way to cut time. Fortunately, as I see, I got average bonus, which sucks. Hi, Edna. I thought you were dead. Oh wait, this is before you death. Oh sorry. Yeah, for people who don't know, and that's probably talking about ten of you at this point. And this voice actress is well dead. 
I don't know how she died, but yeah. Now, unfortunately, the White Alice didn't decide to give Edna a new voice actress. No, they actually cut off the character for good. They actually reflected his voice actions. She died, so. Rest in peace, Edna. We'll never forget you. But, anyways, um. Deaths aside, <laughs> game it teared eyes, just think about it. Anyways, now we go, go to the plasma center. I think we're halfway through all one. Just barely got that with a stupid slow bonus. Again, the game is just. Shut up, Bonnie! We're doing nothing but being annoying and loud and obnoxious. Okay. But that's Gain's fault, not Bonnie's fault. It's Program's fault. Come on, can we make it? Yeah. And also, like, I like to say, when you get, you know, about ten thousand dollars, and when the time limits begin restrict, should we think about it? These people are apparently now just really, really impatient. Impatient now, because apparently. They don't pick up taxi but early before the rival time. I don't know, it's bizarre well, I'm not gonna bother critiquing it that much. Or it's all over the place here. I'm just going to sit here for a while. No talking while I'm driving. Whatever, we'll take you to a safe place where you can sleep. Dot Tonic. Dot Tonic! I love his name. I just love saying his name. Tonic! Can we get another World Trade bonus here? Yes, we do. But can we reach it? I honestly don't think so. Nope. I didn't make it. I didn't know where that inch was, so. Fortunately, I lost the World Trade bonus, which really, really sucks. Oh well. For some reason, Snakes wants to go to the bank. Oh, who knows, you might want to steal stuff here. Fine, and you impatient little sod. Yeah, Tiny is so strict that every time you pick up a passenger, it always makes that annoying beeping sound like. Hey, here's the wiener. Just in time, when not one ended. <sighs> also, there's that Wobo. Tyrannosaurus. Again, I don't remember which episode, if it's worth seeing an episode or not, but. Scarby, since why would he be there in the first place? Yeah, we placed third place, like that week bothers me. So, like an usual, I'll put in my username initials. Yeah, I did. Good. And, uh. Need to do one more one before we can lock the last area. Springfield Mountains, that is. A shiny new donkey to the man who brings me the head of Homer Simpson. Liar. There's no such thing as a shiny new donkey. And the head of Homer Simpson? Jesus Christ, Miss Burns. Why do you want to decapitate someone, sicko? Anyway, we should be playing as Game Grandpa more screen time because he is just that awesome. Don't let him. Don't let him delude you. He is truly that awesome. So yeah, now we're back at Springfield Dam again, because who saw that coming? I don't know why I was going that, but... And... Again, physics in a nutshell. Here, tree. You go flying over the face and land on your car's ass. I mean, bumper. We end. Eh, don't know why I was going that. So you can see here, this is really extremely fast, you can see here. Okay, it may not have the best controls, but it's really, really good controls at the very least. And that's what makes it the best car. Tied with Professor Fink's hover car, of course. You'll see why when we eventually unlock Professor Fink and we'll play as a nuclear power plant. <laughs> it was insane. But, anyways, we're getting off track. Anyways, anyway, anyways, I, s I say anyways a lot, don't I? Anyways, now we will. We'll, Just get me out of we'll pick a snake and try to get a world dream bonus. As I try to find a way to talk about. Uh. So, okay. 
Um. Okay, apparently I. Oh no, I don't. I don't take that route. I take the other route instead. Flag doesn't want to destroy more obstacles to get the world joint bonus. Because, you know, why not? And. Eh, oh. I had to hear one annoying beep. Uh, why don't you relax, oh? Oh, goody. Again, I won't be showing a trick here. I will show a trick in a later episode. It's like I'm hyping off of this one trick of Springfield Down where you can get infinite money much more quicker than the box factory glitch. Trust me, it is real. It's just a show of a later episode because this is post commentary, not live commentary. The reason why I do post commentary is because it's just easier to do. And it's so I don't have to do everything at once. Damn teenagers! Yeah, damn teenagers with their Minecrafts and their iPhones and their futuristic <laughs> iP tablets and their hippie clothes and their and a crappy cast in their air. Wow, I sound like like an old man, which is sad because I think I'm 16 years old. But I'm getting off track again. Now let's take physics, my slave. I don't want to say the B word honestly because I want to make my Videos family friendly. And do you want him more? Uh, whatever. Oh, that's a lot of non digital. Sometimes I take things too seriously. Too. That's not a good thing. Sure thing, Captain. McCrackers? Is that your name? I just don't know. So. Hopefully we can get that safe trip bonus. We so we take down a shortcut as I hear another wall because that was uncalled for meetings. Because this game's collision walls is pretty crappily executed, honestly. You'll be knocking into invisible corners and stuff where you should be able to go through, but the game will let you. But we'll, but we'll say that when we actually do Yeah. Hey, don't tell you to shut up. Oh, you're saying. Never mind, Grandpa. <laughs> Anyways, now head off to Cheery Joe's, where you can get get hypo on caffeine. Plus, you have a cola. But, but that's probably because I'm. Uh, I don't really like to taste the coffee. Yeah, I said it. I don't like coffee at all, and. I honestly am a big fan of tea myself. What's the meaning of this? So I'm mostly for pain, just pain normal milk or milkshakes or juices or ain't stuff, I don't know. Sorry Marge! I'm sorry that I killed my daughter in law. Hey, hey, uh, I could be completely one there. <laughs> hey that's why. Cake, I'm afraid of the future. Well, it's about time. <laughs> I'm afraid of the future. That's too bad, cause we always look at the future. Yeah, so you gotta embrace the future, man. Oh, nah. We'll see about that. That could be a big debate in itself, but anyways. Yeah, that's where my journey is, cause I really, really want to show that cave shortcut, which unfortunately. Cost my entire one. Boring. See you later, loser. Fine, then. you douchebag. Hey, hey, so I hey, still got yes. good amount of money. Got the way enough guess that. Congratulations, you placed fourth. NGW as always. And should I have enough money to unlock the last area of the game. Congratulations, you just earned a new award. It's just... now, the last one we unlocked is the Springfield Mountains, which I won't be showing off in this episode yet. Screw you, Mr. Burns. You said that away in the last episode, I believe. Yet, yeah, Springfield Mountains will unlock, but I won't be showing that until the next episode because I want to unlock another character. One more character, which it will be Grand Ski Willie. I'm unlocking each character in order. 
Now, I don't want to show Grandpa Snips the third time. Instead, I'll be going back to Evergreen Towers. <laughs> Evergreen Towers for a third time. Are you sick of this place away yet? But this side, at least we'll be playing as a different character, which is Marge. And, and I. And I know this will be cut short. This will be a full out one. As usual, you know, like. So. Quasty wants to go to Quickie Knot. Okay, got no more of that. Um. Yeah. Mo, get in the car. Oh, hi, Midge. Uh, please don't tell Homer I hit on you. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Just get me out of here. And I was saying, there's the episode where Mo him. Marge, I don't know. Yeah, I have I. My maze kind of fade again. Plus, why do you want to go Principal Skitters, Mo? That makes no sense. You don't really have any. I don't know. Get out of the way, you stupid nuclear bus. Me to the church, he'd make me the happiest Christian in the world. Easy come, easy go. Sh sure thing, you overly happy, overly positive, overly diddly diddly, piddly silly, piddly exquisite man. Oh, I gotta say, you got cool, you got a awesome mustache. So, do you, Dr. Nick? Hi, Dr. Nick. I need a cadaver to practice on. You got it. Cadaver? You mean the ones from Pokemon? I have Dr. Mick for seventh generation Pokemon Professor! <laughs> uh. Thanks. Stop by Who's with me? For a free nose no one waves the hands. Mind. Of course. Um. Happy. <laughs> Whatever you say. Plus, why do you want to go pay and sell this? Somewhere happy. I don't want to know, honestly, and I don't think Marge wants to either. Anyways, here we go. They live in a flag course. They're yeah, smoking, coughing, patty, and so on. Can you give an old seabird a lift? <laughs> whatever you say. Don't know why you want to go to the gas station, but whatever. Oh, we can get the sea trip bonus again. Uh, of course, I say that I hit into a car. Now, I believe in Game Boy Advance version, to get safe to burst on the Game Boy Advance version, can we say? You hit to one car, and that's safe trip bonus immediately gone. So, thankfully, with the actual console version, it's much more lenient with this one. Average? Come on! Thank you for the ride, my friend. Hi, I'm Mars. you're thankful for the ride. The leprechaun tells me to burn things. Hold on tight. Uh, why have you been drinking, Ralph? I don't want to know. Which I'll be taking the shortcut. Because this is totally legal. Back in this world Simpsons, so. I bet nothing's, nothing's legal here. <laughs> Logic does not compute in the Simpsons. Let me be quite say, most of the characters have yellow skin. I know, some people like Apu have brown skin instead, which I don't know why. But hey, whatever. Damn it, stop hating to cars, Marge. I know this goes Simpsons World Rage, but sometimes you gotta be careful because, well, the game asks you to. Oh yeah, I might as well call about the game music. It's pretty... It's meh, honestly. The game's soundtrack... This game's music is just very meh, honestly. I mean, sometimes it can get... I like, can hunt mercy sometimes, but just probably only because I spent this game for long periods of time. So, overall, this game's soundtrack is just pretty unmemorable. Apart from the music that plays at menu, which is obviously a remix of the Simpsons theme tune. I'm surprised I didn't mention the soundtracks for the like, Pizza Pizza game. So. Hi again, well. Uh. Let's see if you took a bubbles, because. Logic. 
But anyways, if I didn't mention the game soundtrack in my I hope you so if you wanna know then fine, if you don't then don't listen to me. Blinks too much of time and space. That had a very good dance soundtrack. I love its theme tune, I love the music in each of the stages, I especially love the music when you're playing the time factory. Uh, Sponge of Grand Spell be born. Come on, it's a classic soundtrack. Everyone loves it. I love the fine boss theme tune. I love um Javis Fields, Downtown Bikini Bottom. Pretty much everything about it really. Um Way My Wing Rabbits. Uh nah, I don't remember any of it from it. I probably need ob obviously the rhythm theme tunes, but even then I don't really remember much of them. Honestly. So wait. And it's sequel Well, the only music I know for those is the Wyvern games again. <laughs> so yeah. And Mr. Bean for the DS? <laughs> well, there's only one Star Trek I two no two things I don't know. I remember. Actually no, there's only four loser tracks in that whole game. The uh, one that goes blah blah da 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 but anyways. Anyways that's my opinions for all those games. And now it's the end of the video. Wow. Um Lucky I could do one with one off screen to unlock the grass cube really or do it for now. You sicko. You murderer, Mr. Burns. I mean, Beanie Burns. Burning beans. Either way. So, next episode, or next time on The Simpsons World Rage, we'll be playing as Groundskeeper Willie at the Springfield Mountains. So, there's more again, who, and I'll see you there. See you later, guys.